Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, we're going to be checking out Varus and this new insane hybrid build that's been going around a lot in pro play recently. And I've been trying it a lot in solo queue and it gives Varus a lot, a lot of damage. I think you'll be very, very surprised with how great this Varus build is. Now, I kind of covered on this build a little bit beforehand. I did a build before, I did like a test out for the build, but now I have the full pro build for you by JDG's GU GU, which you'll be able to see on screen. Now, you can see that he goes for the likes of Ghost Blade as the first item. You do have Mortal Reminder as kind of the second item slot. But I think what he does is he builds Executioner's Calling, the tier 2 item, and then goes for Edge of Night. Then he completes Mortal Reminder because the percentage armor penetration will help you a lot better when you build Mortal Reminder later in the game. And then you have Rift Maker, which are the components that he builds there. And then for the last item, you can kind of go for pretty much any flexible item. Guardian Angel can, also, uh, can be very, very good. But you can also go for other items as well. Maybe items like Nash's Tooth can also be good. And also with the Zonya's Hours Glass stasis upgrade for the runes conqueror really really good rune triumph is an interesting one because triumph you don't really get a lot of healing but i can kind of understand if the enemies are low on health from your auto attacks then your first ability is going to deal more damage that kind of makes sense bone plating pretty decent and then the interesting one is mana flow band as the final rune choice now mana flow band is actually pretty decent with this build now obviously this build doesn't have mana mute so you're not going to be able to spam your abilities over and over again so mana flow band is there to help you have that little bit of mana in the later stages of the game you can stack this really really easy in the early game by just landing your first ability or your third ability that stacks up that gives you the extra mana that means you can use your abilities later on into the game with your auto attacks with this build and deal an insane amount of burst damage but yeah let's take a look at this build in a little bit more detail ghost blade as the first item this normally gets built as a second item and you know with mana immune being built first but ghost blade just gives you such a huge power spike it's such a cheap item it gives you so much ad the flat armor penetration a little bit of ability haste the momentum passive means that you'll get the little bit of extra attack speed as well which will help you a lot when you're trying to stack your blighted quiver your second ability you're trying to stack that up with your auto attacks and you can use your abilities afterwards to deal extra damage again your auto attacks will stack conqueror as well so that means you'll be able to get extra damage from conqueror so overall, this item just works great for Varus. And as I mentioned, it's a much stronger first item than, uh, than Mura Mana. Because Mura Mana obviously gets upgraded into Mana Immune, but it does take quite some time. And when you do build like Tier of the Goddess, for example, as your first Tier 2 item, you're not going to be as powerful in the laning phase as you are with the Tier 2 items from Ghost Blade, for example. So just earlier power spike gives you a lot more power. Yes, again, you can't spam your abilities at range, but this is more so of a hybrid build that makes your auto attacks with your abilities then as i mentioned edge of night you can go for um executioner's calling if you do need the uh, anti-heal if you do need the grievous wounds but edge of night another item that has been really really strong recently in wild rift league asia just gives you a bit more a bit of tanky stats with the maximum health and also gives you a lot of attack damage flat armor penetration again is really really good in the early game because there's not a lot of champions that build a lot of armor in the early game so that flat amount of armor pen is really really nice it's better than percentage armor penetration in the early game that's why you don't go for items like mortal reminder early on but the spell blade passive uh spell blade the spell shield sorry passive uh, i should say from the animal passive means that we're going to be blocking any hostile abilities that comes our way thresh hook blitz crank hook nami wave nami bubble there's so many abilities that i can think of that you can block with this ability now this can be triggered by other abilities like say nami's second ability for example or gragas barrel um, abilities that are not going to crowd control you so you do have to be a little bit careful sometimes but there's so many times that edge of night has saved me in games and that's why this is such a strong item for the boots most of the time you want to go for um the ionian boots the ionian um only boost the lucidity completely forgot the name for a second there but only boost the lucidity to give you actually a bit of ability haste and also um reduce the 
uh, cooldown of your summoner spells and if your boots upgrade you always want to go for stasis stasis is great for virus because he doesn't have a lot of mobility he can't be caught out so stasis is just there to protect you from a lot of the burst damage and then we can go for items like a mortar reminder again an item that gives you a lot of attack damage but again that last whisper passive is percentage armor penetration so if you build this in the early game you're only going to be getting around about that 16 percent armor penetration but if you build this in the later stages of the game you get that 30 percent armor penetration so that means that the higher the the later you build this item the higher percentage of the armor penetration you're going to get which is so so important um, for varus and just for any champion in general again this item offers a grievous wounds as well every single time you do physical damage so it'll help you a lot against any healing champions then this is where the hybrid comes in rift maker as our next item gives us a lot of ability power gives us ability haste gives us a little bit of maximum health the omni vamp is actually going to help us out quite a lot as well because it's going to give us healing from our auto attacks and also from our abilities but a big thing is the void corruption passes so when in combat with champions you gain a stack of corruption every one second each stack increases the damage you deal by three percent up to three stacks so if you stay in combat for three seconds you can get up to nine percent extra damage and at maximum stacks so when we reach that three stacks at maximum stacks the additional damage provided by corruption instead becomes true damage this is so so important with this hybrid virus build as i mentioned you want to auto attack a few times before using your abilities that's because we want to try and get them blighted quiver uh, passive stacks on the enemy champions which will give our abilities more damage that means that when we auto attack a few times we're going to be in combat for a few seconds and that means we're going to have the three stacks of blighted quiver we're going to have the stacks from rift maker that means our first ability is going to do an insane amount of burst damage through the true damage from the rift maker from our first ability as well just doing a lot of damage because we have a lot of ad in this build and also from the blighted quiver passive which means that we'll be able to stack up with our auto attacks use our first ability and that's where the insane burst damage comes through on this build and that means for the last item we can go for a defensive item like guardian angel just in case we are against any assassins that can jump on top of us guardian angel is just there to protect us from any sort of damage but as i mentioned you can kind of switch the last item for any item that you kind of want to serrated's grudge is there if you don't need the anti-heal from mortal reminder you can go for serrated's grudge uh instead but most likely most of the time you're going to go for mortal reminder again the last item is pretty flexible though you can maybe go for something like trinity force for example which could be really really good as the last item because you got you know the spell blade passive the attack speed and also the ad pretty much any other item can work really really well the only items you don't really want to build is any crit items so maybe you can go for something like serpent's fang if the, you're against a lot of shielding um, any items like that can work pretty well but again because we already have a lot of damage already in our build that's why we have guardian angel as our final item conquer as i mentioned this works again with us stacking with our auto attacks are stacking our passive and then being able to use our abilities afterwards you get a stack of, stack of adaptive force when hitting an enemy champion with separate attacks or abilities we just do auto attack auto attack auto attack which is going to stack it every single time use our abilities use our third ability use our ultimate as well which is going to give us that extra source of damage and that means we're going to be getting an insane amount of ad an insane amount of omni vamp as well which is going to help us when um Honkra is fully stacked again triumph is an interesting one i don't really agree with triumph in a way because the important thing is that champion tank downs restore 10 percent of your missing health like you're not building a lot of maximum health i mean you're building a little bit of maximum health with edge of night and also with rift maker but there's not really any other maximum health that you're building with this build so 10 percent your missing health is not going to be a lot this is why this is used most of the time on bruisers or tanks in the baron lane but i think the big thing is is dealing five percent more damage to enemies that are below th um 35 health i think that's the big reason why these players use triumph on varus but i think you know um uh where is it giant slayer can also be a very very good option because you're against a lot of tanks at the moment in the current meta giant slayer is also a pretty good option bone placing really good against any combo damage really good uh for virus again because it doesn't have a lot of mobility that means that if he does get hit by any crowd control you're going to be taking that little bit of extra less damage and the mana flow band as well as i mentioned hitting a champion with an ability or an empowered attack permanently increase your mana by 30 up to 300 so you can get 10 stacks on this and it gives you 300 extra mana 
all you have to do is land your abilities you land your third ability or your first ability and you're going to get that stack every single time as i mentioned we're not running mana mew with this build so we are going to struggle a little bit on mana so that's why mana foe band is in this build and then for the summer spells we have flash and we have exhaust exhaust can actually be swapped out uh, by ghost ghost can actually be really really good for varus again it will help him a lot with his mobility and running around the map but exhaust is really good against any sort of assassins or bruisers that might uh, jump on top of you exhaust will help you because it will reduce their movement speed and also reduce their damage that they are dealt so hopefully you all enjoy the gameplay this absolutely insane game for varus hopefully you enjoy stay safe and i'll still see you all in the next wilder video peace why is ya4 playing fizz jungle the guy is a support man he's playing fizz jungle huh? cinema cinema only cowards flee their fate Bow, bow. Ba -da now, now. I right. Do what I must. Let's get it. You know, I'm I'm really curious to what YouTube thinks when they can't hear music like my stream does, and I'm just randomly singing all the time. I think they're used to it by now with me randomly singing. Wait, where is their ash? Beware a man with nothing to lose. Where is it ash? The oh, hello. I think I need to turn my music down, right? Okay, uh, Malphite mid's really low. Uh, they're going for the invade top sides. Interesting one. They Pantheon's going for an invade when he has a Zaya top lane. Wait, they're actually getting kills. How is a Pantheon what? How is a Pantheon jungle winning with a Zaya top lane? How is that even possible? I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. It means Fizz is probably going to come. Actually, no, Fizz was probably at red buff and has probably cleared his whole red side. So he's probably down at blue side still. I'm guessing he's down at blue side. You know what's really difficult with this Karma skin is figuring out when the hell my Karma's used her abilities. Because her Q is like really, really invisible. I definitely need to get anti heal this game. I'm kind of worried about the uh, fizz though. I don't know where the fizz is. We do have a pink ward there. Oh, fizz is there. We doing okay with the fizz here? Oh, one more Q. Nice. Good job. I have my ulti, but I don't think we could do too much with my ulti. Gonna keep farming for now until ghost blades could go back and get tier two components here actually i'm 400 gold hmm. i'm 400 gold actually if i clear this wave i'm pretty sure i have ghost blades if i don't miss a minion I'll fight top lane, but we had a ward there, so we saw him. Okay, nice. I have ghost blades. This is, this is what's so insane about ghost blade, by the way. It's such a cheap item that you get it so early on. It's insane. All right, we're going to go for the anti-heal because we're against a Senna. Um, 
Garen has a lot of healing. Malphite will have a lot of healing. I do what I must. When was the last time I saw Janna? A long time ago, actually. A long, long time ago. I actually think Janna's not that bad. When you're playing with a hyper carry, AD carry, she's actually pretty good because she's really good at, um, at peeling. Hey, what's up, hats? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Deliver them to their end. Is your harder in your opinion? I Zed or Irelia? I would say Irelia. Which is funny because Irelia is my next A to Z guide champion. So I'm definitely going to have to play some practice games on Irelia. Mm, I feel like I need Merc Treads this game as well. I need a ward here. Okay, it's fine. Okay, barrier used. You can get a few plates here. That's really unfortunate. I thought we would have killed the Ash, but Ash had barrier. We got a lot of tower plates here, though, so it's worth it. Actually, not a bad. Uh, we should be probably should have backed off. Not too risky. Okay. Holy moly, that's so good. I have so much gold. I have so much gold. Edge of Night is going to be really good this game for me as well. We'll get the anti heal and we'll get. Uh, we'll get boots. We'll get boots and we'll get one component of Edge of Night. Get boots so we can get back to lane quicker. Currently a thousand gold ahead of the Ash, which is pretty nice. This is the great thing about this build is that you have such an earlier spike than Man Immune. And you actually feel like you do damage. There's no way. I did not think the Fizz was going to be there. Yeah. I did not think the Fizz was going to be there. That's my bad, I guess. I mean, how was I supposed to know the Fizz was going to be over the wall there? He was he was out of vision. He was like over here at the uh, the golems. I guess I should have played with a lot more respect. Unfortunate. This is where Edge of Knight will come in handy. Edge of Knight will come in handy and also Merc Treads a bit later on. We've also Stasis, obviously. Support should probably be roaming. Because the center roamed and got us and got us got them an advantage mid. I didn't need the karma's help to 1v1 there. Um bot lane's dead.
Mm. I cannot believe that actually hit me. Now, how much do I need for Edge Knight? I need a little bit of gold. I'm just going to go top lane. I'm just going to clear the top lane wave. I clear the top lane wave here. I get Edge of Night. They should not fight this Rift Herald. Just play around dragons. No, no, no. Do not play around this Rift Herald. Let's get the Drake. As long as we get Drake here, it's fine. Like, we do we do not need Rift Herald. Please, team. Please don't go for this. Just please. It's 20 seconds until Drake. If you die here, then we just... Yeah. I, I mean, they survived at least. Okay, maybe not. Our jungle is dead. I lied. I lied. Our jungle is dead. I mean, our jungler should never be a Rift Herald there. He's going to survive on 1 HP. Okay. Could we please get Drake? Oh, this game. I mean, if the Pantheon just didn't die bot sides, we could have just taken control over this dragon and we would have easily taken it. Like, we would have easily have taken this dragon a long time ago. Look, now it's 50-50. And we lost it. I, I don't know. Like, my, my jungler just needs to come to dragon. But, I mean, it looks like we're still winning anyway. If my, if my jungler just comes to dragon there, it's, it's totally fine. Like, we do not need the Rift Herald. Like, he flips the Herald instead of waiting for dragon when we could just get three dragon win condition. But like every single time objectives spawn, junglers just feel like they need to go for every objective. Okay, though. I mean, it looks like we're still doing okay. So it could be worse. I just need stasis now. Need to upgrade into Mortal Reminder, get stasis, and I think I'll be fine. Now, how much do I need for Mortal Reminder? 200 gold. I can actually get it here if I get this. Hey, blue buff, go back to base, get more to reminder. I, as long as my mid laner doesn't die. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I mean, this game's still looking pretty good. Like, I'm still insanely strong. I'm 2,000 gold ahead. Well, nearly 3,000 gold ahead of the... Uh, of the other guy. I missed. I missed my ulti. I missed my ulti because... So unlucky. Oh, that's a free kill. That's my bad. Deliver them to their end. That's a free kill there if I land my ulti. I mean, maybe not. Because he uh, stood flash. But...
Problem is, because we have a Zaya top, we have no one to defend this Garen. I'm going to stasis. We have no one to defend this Garen. Because we have a Zaya top lane with BT second item. Go towards Rift, Rift Maker. We can maybe get Baron. I stopped someone. I'm tanking minions. Tanking minions and don't have any of my abilities available. I mean, at least she, at least she dies. I mean, I should have played that a lot better. Should have played that a lot better. I can't go over Eri because I'm going more on hit. Uh, it's again a 50 50 split. The Drake. No, it's fine. No center ulti, no fizz ulti. I mean, I need to kill the fizz first. Oh, he actually got it. Nice. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just going to go bot lane. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to defend bot lane, but bot lane then. This game's kind of close. Like I said, the big problem in this game is the Senna. I mean, the Garen, sorry. Because we have a Zaya top lane, so... I don't know how uh, we could take Baron, but Pantheon would rather go for the tower dive. Deliver them their we could have had three Drakes this game as well if Pantheon didn't flip for Herald for no reason. There's no need for us to flip Herald. The second Rift Herald win, first objective is already down. I entered. Can we take something? We should be able to take this. It's only center alive. Oh, 
No, just attack it. Just attack it. Just attack it, Pantheon. Beware a man with no oh, good God, man. Holy moly. Pantheon tried to kill the center when he was like on one HP. Now he's not alive for Elder Drake. Oh my god, my damage. I'm surprised I even killed the Alistar there. I mean, not the Alistar, the Pantheon. Oh god. Got him. Damage. Come on. How'd that hit me, man? How'd that hit me? How'd that Q hit me? How did the, how did the Fizz ulti hit me? I don't know how the Fizz ulti hits me. Zadie's virus considered better than full AP due to the wave clear. I mean, also because your auto attacks do more damage. AP virus is very, very much centered around. Well, full AP virus is very much centered around. You auto attack three times and use your abilities. At least with this flex build, I have a mixture of both. So I can either do damage with my abilities or I can do damage with. Uh, with my other stuff. Uh, I need. Like 200 gold for GA. And I kind of really want the GA. I mean, they have triple inhibs down. There's no way we lose this, right? I should be able to win here. This is actually kind of a close game, though. This is actually a very, very close game. Where did Senna go? <laughs> I have no idea where Senna went. GG's. Actually, a pretty close game. I'm curious how much damage I did in the end. My top lane... My top lane, Zaya, got MVP. 
my top lane Zaya got MVP with zero armor penetration against the Malphi and the Garen. I guess I am the problem. Hey, I needed 40k damage though. That's not bad. A few mistakes this game, but I still think we did okay. Yeah, GG's. Not bad.